All right, so now we are on to the fantasy football part segment of this podcast. We've talked about fantasy once before, and that's our most famous episode. Yeah. Apparently, the end apparently. of the JL. And um, so after the JL died, Matthew took over as commissioner, created a new league, uh, a better league, one may some may say, uh, a league, a league formed with with a higher purpose, a higher cause, something something above all of us. Yeah. Something, you know, that we should all be proud to be a part of. And um, and so Matthew's a new commish. Um, the league got shaken up. Now the roster is Connor, Ned, Tristan, Luke, Aaron, Aiden, Matt, me, Zach, and Matthew. So we basically just one for one traded Alex for Ned. And, you know, salute to Alex. Shout out to Alex. He probably... I don't know what he thinks. I think he liked being part of the league, um, but I, I I'm not sure what he thinks. I don't know if he thinks that he got kicked out. I don't like. I don't remember receiving an email saying like your league has been deleted. So I don't know if he has that explanation. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't think I did either. So <laughs> I I think unfortunately, let me see if I've got anything. No, just fantasy draft report cards. So unfortunately. I think he's just flying in the dark that that his time finally came and that he was finally kicked out of the league where I just I want him to know that it was it was more than that, Alex. Yeah. It was more than that. It wasn't it wasn't you. It's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. This was this was me. This was something that I failed as as a leader. Um so we had two drafts. Two weeks ago was the Jess Jennings family league, right? Uh, it was, it was Thursday. Ago, Thursday. Yeah. It was last Thursday. Last Thursday. Oh, last Thursday. I think yes. It was last Thursday. Um, I don't know. Should we just just give a brief overview for that one? How do you feel about your team in that in the in the, in the JFL? Um, JFL. I liked it. Um, I think I missed a couple times, but it wasn't a like collapse. I feel as I had in the ju- in the new league. Oh, yeah. We'll talk um, about I, that. We'll talk, we'll talk about, about we'll, we'll talk about the collapse sure. and um I I think my team is is good in the uh, the JFL. I think I st- statistically I draft so much better in the JFL than the, just like in the yeah. other than the boys league. What, what's our new league name by the way? Do you know? Osama. Osama, Osama Lake. Lake. Okay, the Osama Lake league. Yeah. Um but no, I like my team in the JFL. What about you? Do you think your team's good? I this this feels like a classic Johnny JFL team. It does. It really yeah, it does. It just feels like a classic. Yeah. I don't know if that means I don't know if that's good or bad, really, right now, because because my my league history has been so up and down. Like in the JFL, I really do struggle. Even though I had those back to backs, I really I really tend to struggle with the regular season. I just you know, I've had I don't know. I've had since since I came in the league, I've had one, two three nine plus win seasons um and i consider like a really good season to be a 10 win season so i've only hit a 10 win mark once and that was last year um so i mean i guess things are technically trending up yeah i i guess you could suppose things are technically trending up but um i i just don't know because last year i didn't know where i stood with it being a 12 person league you know an expansion league this year, I, I don't know where I stand again because we, we're now at half PPR. Yeah. I don't know how that changes the game yet. I don't know if that means my team's better or worse. Like, I'm looking at my team, and I'm okay with it. You know, my draft didn't go I, – I my draft strategy failed a little bit. Um, and so, so there's definitely some obvious weaknesses in there. But – I, you know, I, I, I like I'm looking at my team and I, I kind of like it. And I don't know if mm-hmm. that's crazy to say yet. But it's not crazy to say. Also, to go back, not, not to make it about me, but I'm realizing on my team, I have five NFC North players. Wow. So I don't I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Gibbs, Aaron Jones, Jefferson. Oh, wow. wow yeah. We... I don't like that because whenever. Six. Well, six, but we're. TJ Hawkins is not going to start in lineup. Yeah, yeah. But five starting lineup players is from yeah from cr- one crazy. Division. I don't I don't like that at all because we like 
the NFC North plays each other twice a year. That's yeah. a lot of games where two of my players won't be playing because we'll be playing the other team, person on my play yeah. on my team. I don't like and that. I, I don't think you can really call the NFC North like a high powered offensive division. I think maybe this year you could and maybe maybe with like applause to you for 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 sniffing it out, but maybe this year the, they will be that just with, you know, um Chicago's new look team, mm-hmm. uh Detroit's bringing back all that offensive power power they had last year. Um Green Bay might be hitting their stride. Like they, they ended up performing much better in the latter half of the year of last year. Yeah. So maybe they're hitting their stride. Uh, Minnesota, though, I would argue probably not a high powered offense. No, not, I mean, not anymore without Kirk yeah, and without Kirk. JJ. Cause, cause you knew what you were getting with Kirk. Yeah. But now we have no clue what they're going to get. Right. I mean, who was the guy that that subbed in for Kirk a few games last year? That backup. Um, golly, I don't know. Uh, Nick Mullins. No. Oh, Nick Mullins was it for the last half? Oh, maybe, oh, was it? I'm thinking it's the wrong person. Maybe. The the no, it's not the pastronaut, right? Oh, I don't know. Hang Who's on. Who's the pastronaut? Can't believe I'm forgetting his name. But anyways, um, I I think. Dobbs, Josh Dobbs, Josh Dobbs. That's Josh it. Dobbs. Yeah, Josh okay. Dobbs. I guess he was able to do well on on Kevin O'Connell's offense. Mm-hmm. Um, like I love Justin Jefferson every other year. Yeah, I this know. This year was a tough year to draft him. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he's a stud, but <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I think they they proclaim the Minnesota offense to be pass heavy, right? It, not anymore. No, I I, th- I think beforehand, yeah, because who they had they had like an eighty year old Delvin Cook. Yeah, and I don't even remember who the running back was last year. Was it was it, it Delvin was, Cook? Uh, no, it wasn't Delvin Cook. No, no. Shoot, Addison. Name. No, I, Addison. I think it was. Wasn't it? it no, was Ad- the backup. Yeah, it was. The, it was the backup. I can't remember his name though. I had Madison. him in all my teams last Madison. year. No, what? Alexander Madison. Was it Madison? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So yeah. Oh, I have him. I have him on my team too, but he's on. Oh, do you really? The, the Raiders now. He's on the Raiders. Oh wow! Hey, Las Vegas running back. That's and then pick. also, can we talk about ESPN censoring team names now? What the heck is that? Oh yeah, oh, that's okay. ridiculous. Well, bottoms a little bit of a stretch to be censored. Isn't that censored crazy? Word, bottom. That's bottom. A very innocent word. I know. So my stupid team name is Hole in the. It's his, it's but the B O two. Oh, I'm so I was thinking people would say Bo two um. Because I can't do bottom. <laughs> For me, it just looks like bosom. Bosom? Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Maybe do a little hashtag in there, because that's like two Ts. Kinda. Yeah, yeah, put a little hashtag. I was going to say put a little H. Baham. Baham. Let me see if hashtag Zach, work. you just have such a... You've got such an unknown... T- like, obviously, you, I, I'm I'm an AR-15 guy, but he's uh-huh. just so unknown. Aaron Jones is obviously a stud, but... Who knows about that Minnesota offense? Same, right. same for Justin Jefferson. Same for DJ Moore. Like obviously he's a stud, but who knows about that offense? Yeah, and then Najee Sam was really good. Was great. Najee was really good like his first year, and then he's been mid ever since. Is he will he have a good year again? Sense. Keon so Coleman's I, never played. Tyler Keon Lockett's Coleman's old. Played. Yeah. Zach Moss, new running back. No, there's a lot of questions here. And like, I don't know. Jameer Gibbs is is your guy and he's your he's your standout. Mm-hmm. And I think I don't think it's terrible to take unknowns, but I think you just need a more healthier mix than what you've got going on. You're right. You're right. And like the, the more I'm talking about it, the more I'm not liking it. So let's talk about your I, team. I, now. I don't, I, I don't mean to, I don't mean to trash on your team, but it's just so easy. Oh, I do. I don't mind that. It's so easy to, to do that for me for the, and I think, I think I've definitely fallen victim to this in the past. Um, but the shoot, what do I want to say? Oh yeah, in the past, I feel like I've definitely, or it, or yeah, this seems to always happen. I don't know if you do it the same. I think I think we do it almost opposite. But the night of the draft, I'll always walk away from my team being like, "That was a terrible team. Why did I pick that?" And then mm-hmm. by the night of the first week, I'll be like, "I've got <laughs> the best team." In the draft. <laughs> like I'll I'll convince myself. Uh huh. Just have a bunch of studs. So um, 
Yeah, we definitely do the opposite. The post draft, I'm like, oh, I freaking nailed that. And then <laughs> after after I go four and eleven, I'm like, all right, well, maybe maybe I did not nail that. Yeah. Um. So, no, I, anyways, yeah. I mean, if we, I'll just I'll just say the names on my team. I got Dak, which again, like, I feel like we know what we're gonna get. I don't. I don't think. I don't think Dak's a too big of an unknown. I think we, mm-hmm. we know that he's solid he's obviously not josh allen patrick mahomes he's not going to get me crazy numbies i mean he did very well last year um he had a couple big games um but i think he's he's just solid i it, what do you think do you think saquon barkley's an unknown just because of his age and the fact that he's on a new team um he's on a better team yeah so i think it is unknown. Like it's totally fair to say unknown, but yeah. you know, like Saquon was, I don't know if I had him last year or two years ago, but he was so good for about for the team. I had him on. I can remember which team it was, but I remember him helping out so much. So okay. I don't mean it, it, it can only get better for being on a better team. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I'm thinking too. So, so maybe Saquon's an unknown. I would say Travis ATN's a known. He's a known, like probably going to mm-hmm. be a productive guy. Yeah. Uh, my wide receivers are definitely where it falls apart a little bit. And I made the adjustment in the, in the other league in the friends league. Um, but I, I took Amari Cooper and Jalen Waddle. So Waddle, I want to say Waddle's a known because we know that he's backing up Tyreek Hill. So he's not going to mm-hmm. be the Tyreek Hill. He's not going to get crazy points, but he's probably going to get decent points because it's my, uh, it's a, it's an offense that we know is pass heavy. Mm-hmm. So I think, you know, there's known in it, but it's almost like known mediocrity. I feel yeah. like maybe that's that's almost like the the trend of my team is like I've got a bunch of knowns, but are they really like breakouts? Whereas you're so maybe I know this is like cheesy to do again, but like my maybe my my ceiling and floor is a bit narrower than your ceiling and floor. Your ceiling and floor could be quite large, like with yeah. all the studs that you have on your team. But you the could, it, it could unknowns of them unbelievable, but then it could also just absolutely collapse by week four, and you could yeah. be again left looking at your team being like, What the hell? Whereas me, I feel like I could be week four, I could very much be like one and three, and then finish the season like six and seven or something. Or what do we, how many games we play? Seven games. I feel like I probably finish the season seven and seven and just have a underwhelming year just because of it's like, Yeah, they're good, but they're not great. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, just I guess to w- round it out, Waddle, Conklin, then I got James Cook, uh, and then I'm on bench. I got Bateman, J.K. Dobbins, Jaden Reed, Curtis Samuel. That's a big. That's a fun name. Uh, <laughs> we'll get into that. Xavier Worthy. Um, two things about your team: you love drafting the Bills running backs. I don't you? Didn't you have the Bills running back? Didn't you have what's his name? I had him last year. I had James Cook last year. Okay, you James Collector. Didn't the year before that? What's his name? The really old guy. Not Montgomery. What's his name? Ah, oh. man. All right, I mean, while you're Devin looking that up, Singletary. I don't think Singletary. I Singletary. Singletary. No, what was Singletary? You didn't have Singletary, Singletary last year. No. Oh, all right. Well, never mind then. Okay, two years, maybe two years it was just. Maybe. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like every year you draft the Bills running back. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. 2021. Um, I don't I, on the I-696 flying mattresses. Come on, man. That was that was a legit team. No, I had a good team that year. I had uh, Taylor, Antonio Gibson, Chris Carson, Miles Gaskin. Uh, Where's Chris Carson? You say is did he retire? Yeah, I know he was done. Okay. Oh, my God. You're right, Zach. I had Zach Moss round 11 Buffalo. Uh, oh, there we go. OK, there you go. Right, OK, so wait. So t- then. That was that was twenty past check three out years you've had then. Bills RBs. So last year I had Eckler, ATN. Oh wow, I'm taking ATN back to back. ATN was in the league. Uh, okay, I hear this no, was, that was it, those two times. years ago. Oh, oh two years ago, ago okay. so not back to back. Elijah Mitchell, Chase Edmonds. Oh, I do love a little. Uh, wait, Chase Edmonds was no, no, never. Chad Penny, Raheem Mostert. Zamir White. So okay, so 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 three out of the past four years, I have taken a, a running Bills back. running back. Wow, I've I've also gotten Christian McCaffrey multiple times in this league. Wow, I took him in twenty 2020 twenty and in twenty twenty three. Dude, I, I mean it's crazy had. that McCaffrey fell to ten last year. Anyways, I know. 
I don't think I ever had CMC. Dude, it's so much fun going back and looking I, at the drafts. I know. But anyway, the other person on your team I wanted to go over was Jameson. I like Jameson a lot. I don't know if he'll end up being a starter on your team, but he'll he's easy to put up numbers this year, and you can take that to the bank. Jameson. Oh, thank you. I I think so, too. Okay, I think so, so sorry. Too. Just to just to pad the stat, one more stat. So in the past five drafts, so mm -hmm. 2020 through 2024, Zach, you are 1,000% correct, because guess who I took in round 10 of the 2020 Was draft? it Singletary? Zach Moss, I guess. Zach Moss. Okay, wow. You know, I will say, I think I just, oh my gosh. Hmm. Round 14 of the 2020 draft, I took Joseph Jefferson. Was he good What? It, well, he was a rookie that year, wasn't he? I think so. Let me see. Crazy, man. You got the best wide receiver in the NFL in the 10th round. It's just like, it's 14th. It's just like uh, Connor taking Mahomes around 15, though. Yeah, you're right. Oh my gosh, yeah, 2020 at 1,400 yards, seven tutties. Wow. Okay, so sorry. But wow, do I stay loyal to these players or what? Like, uh, I mean, Zach that... Moss, they've taken multiple times. J.K. Dobbins, I've taken multiple times now. Raheem Mostert, I mean, taken multiple. Jonathan Taylor. You win championships, so they obviously appreciate you, your your loyalty to them. So they want to play yeah, for I you. Think, I think it's just like when you, when you know your guy, you just got to take your guy. Mm -hmm. your guy take your guy so i wonder i wonder if we'll look back in four years and be and 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 i'll be like wow i took jalen waddle like four years in a row or something like that or maybe it might, it might be xavier maybe. worthy it might be jameson williams we might be looking knows, back yeah. and being like wow jamo was a good pick all right all right best all right let's see who did you get in these last maybe i don't know mitchell is going to be our little new age justin jefferson maybe I hope so. He's got a cool name. So I, I guess I have to say, do you have any player loyalty for you? Not, I think it honestly depends on the year. Like, bef like I used to be a big TJ Hawkinson guy. I got him this year, but um, I don't think I had him last year. I like Hawk, I guess, but not often. Like, I have a feeling I it won't be back in my lineup again. Mm. Just because I have Laporta this year, so I don't. And just like going forward, I'll think, oh, I I had Laporta. I can't go be going back to Hawk. Yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's bad thinking, but uh no, I think I'm pretty I pretty much draft different people every year. Yeah. I'll have a couple floaters I've had from years past, but usually I don't do very well. So I like to, <laughs> so I like to freshen like, up. I'm a shaking bit. the team up. Yeah. I like I like shaking it up just because I need some diversity. So yeah. All right. So so I, I guess on to the to the Osama Lake draft. Uh, yeah. this was really fun. I had a really fun draft this year, I thought. I did the, the draft was it was like it was fun having some like four of our members with us and doing the Zoom or doing the FaceTime or whatever. Mm -hmm. No, I liked it a lot. Yeah, I, that was probably the most in person draft that we've ever had. Yeah, because uh, I don't know what we did in high school, but in college we definitely weren't together. Mm -mm. And then first year out of college we weren't all together. I mean, it was definitely it was easily the most in person draft, and I I know. I enjoyed it. Like, I hope we can do that more often. Duke Lounge, yeah. shout out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have the draft earlier next year and we go to the Duke Lounge. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, exactly. Or at least not on a Sunday night. Yeah, way, true. We can, we can hang out a little bit longer. But yeah, no, it was fun having everyone in person. And uh, I guess some highlights of the draft were Luke and his panic, his constant panic about who he <laughs> needs to take. <laughs> if he wasn't drafting he was desperately researching who should i yeah. take next uh -huh. <laughs> and then he he proceeds to take like five wide receivers in the first five rounds and <laughs> uh, was left with the scraps at running back yeah oh maybe we should just go over your draft ranking do you want to do that yeah yeah we'll just okay do let's do that all right um, so you you introduce me i'm gonna start to start in the 10th spot we'll start in the 10th spot so 10th place uh, we'll go with we'll go. Uh, it was I gave it to Tristan, and a little bit of backlash on that from the team or from the the squad. But as there was a famous thing that happened in the draft in the second round, Tristan accidentally drafted Curtis Samuel, who I think in most leagues is like a fourteenth, fifteenth round Top pick. 10 Justice League draft moments of all time. That the Steelers defense. Steelers defense. Aaron picking Lamar. Oh, third overall. Do you remember that? Yeah, was yeah, I do. Overall? It was first round. Uh huh. And then didn't didn't Aiden draft 
like a bunch of Seahawks players one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is definitely a top ten moment in the of oh, something. Like, I'm glad it happened because I really feel like it made it brought us all closer together. It it did. It was exactly what the start of the draft needed because it gave every like we all just were <laughs> cracking up. At least I was. I was really uh-huh. cracking up. It really tickled my funny bone when it was like. So I like Tristan's team. We besides just saw that. the name go. We were like Curtis yeah. Sam, like because that was definitely a player. I think everyone was looking to draft. Like, yeah, it was. It was gonna be. He was gonna be drafted, but it was gonna be just way later. And so we're like, for at least for me, it was like, oh, Curtis Samuel went. Right. Oh, Curtis Samuel. <laughs> it's round two, brother. Exactly. We didn't even realize it happened. It was like, oh, Curtis Samuel. Wait, wait, Curtis Samuel. <laughs> And then the desperation of like, did he mean to do that? Like, we're just <laughs> trying to figure out. Uh, you're, Tristan, are you are you okay? Are you're you right there? Do you see do you something explain, that we don't? <laughs> did you ever explain what happened? I think he, was this a he, misclick? Was it a misclick? I, I it was either a misclick or he was on auto draft. I think uh, okay, I think this was what it was. Is he was on auto draft and just chose from his queue? Like, I think he had ch- queued up oh, some players. Oh, jeez! Just chose a guy from his. That's queue a tough queue. That is a tough cue. It's um, a very tough cue. Oh, and he's benched now too on his team. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, to have your second round pick uh, get benched, benched is, is um, no good. But no, like I, I could, I, I agree with uh, what everyone else is saying. I like Tristan's team a lot, but you, you can't give the guy post draft ring because you have to Curtis Samuel second, second round, not last place. Not last, no way. No, he's, he's got a good team. I'm sure he'll do better than tenth. Um, yeah, but after. Yeah. After I, Tristan, it's draft ranking, though. You're ranking the draft. draft You're not necessarily yeah. ranking the future the final. Yeah. performance. Um, up And then so moving on from Tristan, we'll give him a break. Uh, we got Luke. And so like, kind of Johnny, like, like Johnny was saying earlier, his wide receivers, pretty good. But uh, running backs don't love. Um, we got a lot, of, a lot of wide receivers on the bench. Yeah, he's got five of, wide receivers. A lot four, of wide receivers. Four running backs. Um, I like the Tyreek. I mean, he's not wrong. Two of the best pass catchers in the league. Yeah, but then Um, he's also got Drake London, Drake London, Malik Neighbors, Neighbors, Doonesay, Scary Terry. I like Malik though. Malik, I think is going to be really good. Um, but yeah, maybe he'll be the he'll be that guy. I think he'll replace Drake London in the starting lineup pretty soon. Yeah, but oh, I I think so too. I think so too. I don't. Joe, Joe Burrow was like a swing and a miss last year, so I got PTSD from Joey. So that's also why I don't. I didn't give him super high ranking. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Kyron Williams also had an amazing year last year, but yep. how many? You we've seen it not day in and day out. How many times do they repeat being one of the best? Not very often. He can get I injured. Know. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. <sighs> I don't know. I think running backs like are consistent like that, though. Right? I mean, Derrick Henry. Well, Derrick Henry. Right, I mean, I'm a Derrick Henry believer. You uh, that's different. Derrick Henry's like Derrick Henry. Saquon's had bad years. A couple of bad years, but I mean, he had a stretch where he was really good. Like mm-hmm. Kyron's just entering his stretch of good. I think. Okay, maybe this is his good stretch, son. I think it's too early to for him to to shit the bed. Mm-hmm. Like I think, I think maybe two years from now, someone's going to draft Kyron Williams in the first round, and then Kyron's going to shit the bed, and everyone's okay. Gonna be like, okay, he sucks. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking like Najee though. Like Najee was drafted really high. He was a first round pick two years ago, and now he's like a nobody. Honestly, I I like your team in the Osama Lake. I think you know there's some good good faces on it. Maybe still some some mm-hmm. questions, but I mean we'll we'll I mean, get into my team. So good. My team's yeah. coming up soon, so. In terms of bad, uh, number eight, actually, yes, we can just well go right into my team then. Um, oh, are you number eight? Give I'm number eight. eight. Oh, real quick, just note on Luke this yeah. is uncharacteristic of you to give Luke number nine. Usually, you're giving him like top four. Yeah, no, I love Luke's team normally, and maybe, maybe drafting with him, I got to see his perspective on what players to take and the panic he has. And I'm like, oh, if he's panicking this much, he must not be very confident over his team. Yeah, yeah, so. That's that's why he's ninth, but in eighth place I put myself. I really liked my first six rounds, and then the t- I I wanted 
Zay Flowers, because I have Lamar Jackson as my quarterback. I really wanted Zay Flowers, and then you took him, right? Or somebody no, took him. I, oh, um, I was looking at – the, the conversation happened. Oh, like no. I, I looked at yep. Zach, and I'm like – I forget exactly what I say, but he had taken Lamar, and it was a late enough round that I look over at Zach, and I'm like – are you going to go for a wide receiver pairing? Like, um, or I, I forget exactly how it goes, but then Zach like gives me the, gives me like the dog side eye, you know, the dog being side yeah, eye. Yeah. and I'm like, Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. And then, um, I think maybe I had already said his name out loud or I was like, I, you I sent forget, it in the, in the I forget chat. how it went, but then I eventually was, I, I, I put it in the, in the chat. Um, and I, I look back on that, and I don't know why I did that. I, 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 I mean, obviously, I was, I was being, being a deviant, and I was, mm-hmm. uh, you know, trying to, trying to make my rival worse in any possible way that I can. But. I mean, it worked. Connor took him. Like, I think the pick, the, yeah, the, the, the pick he before I was going to take. Like, him. I, I, because yeah. Zach was about to pick, and I put it in the chat. I said Zay Flowers question mark, and then Zay Flowers goes off the board. Yeah, so that was and that was wonderful Zach to see. Head and hands. It's like, oh my gosh. And then that that was the same round, right? That yeah, as so I took a sudden, Njoku. Goes, All right, I'm taking a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was a panic he, pick. He was not happy about that pick at all. No. The, the his face, his face after that pick just it said it all. Yeah, so that was uh that was a rough one to wake up to. And then after that, I panicked. I got 50-year-old Keenan Allen. Um I wanted a backup tight end, and there were no tight ends left, so I picked Cole Komet, who had a good year last year, but the Bears have so many players now. He's not yeah. going to be as productive as he was. Chris Godwin, I still don't love. He's a very question. I have a lot of questions on him. Vlad McConkey, no even idea who this guy is. He's on the Chargers. They're not <laughs> going to be good. He's got a great good. name, though. Great name. Nick Chubb's out for, like, the entire year. So, yeah, that was, that was a crazy pick to take Chubb. I, if he comes back, he'll be in the starting lineup for sure, but it's just... I just it's it's, a, it's just the what if. I I would argue though Chubb is probably the guy that's gonna be bad year throw up a goose egg. Do you think? I mean, he finally like I hate to say it, but he quote unquote finally broke himself. Like he'd been so good for so long. Last year, he, true, he broke his leg, and it's like it could be maybe the that, maybe that was it. Maybe that was the last straw. It could be what I was saying earlier, where he's starting to have his fall off. But exactly. we'll we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, I'm. Um, I again, if the draft stopped at one through seven in the seventh round, I would put myself a lot higher. But because of the fumble and the fall, mm-hmm. um, I can't. I can't honestly put myself higher than eight. We'll go ahead and move on. We'll go to number well, seven. I, I, I want to comment on your team. I. I oh, you can comment on I it. Think you've got some good. I think you could definitely have some really good names in there. Like mm-hmm. I love Brees Hall, and I've really sold myself on Josh Jacobs recently. And I think it's just because I need to sell myself on the Green Bay offense. I mean, we'll get to we'll get to my team, but mm-hmm. I need to sell myself on the Green Bay offense. So I'm sold on him. Um, I think you're probably right in your in your comment on Debo. Like I I love Debo, but I also kind of think this is this might be his year of just okayness. I don't want to hear that, man. I've never I, had I know, Debo I know, before, that's, so that's I haven't got to great. experience. He's, I've got he's to experience. so much fun to have, you know, mm-hmm. he's so much fun to have, but I feel like, I feel like you only get him for half a season now, yeah. you know, in like 19, 20, 21, you got him for the full season, but, but in recent times, you're just like, you're getting him, but you only get him a little bit, right? You, you want him more. Um, and it's, that's well, that's the other cool thing. It's like you get to watch San Fran games and you get to root for Debo. And the the interesting thing is like you you know he's so good that you just want them to give him the ball every time. And you're like, yeah. okay, why aren't they giving it to Debo right now? He's so good. Give it to Debo. Give it mm-hmm. to Debo. Um but then but then you watch Christian McCaffrey play and you're like, ah, oh, oh, I guess they could have handed it all. Right. So, anyways, I I uh I mean, do you think Debo's not that old though? Now that I'm like talking this through, for some reason I just I feel like he's been in the league forever, and maybe it's just because 
I've had him on my team for, for a few years. Mm -hmm. I mean, going into this, I wasn't planning on picking Debo, but he just, when Debo's there, you got to take him. That's yeah, no doubt. Okay. Sorry. One last, one last point in my head. I'm just thinking out loud. I think that maybe the reason that I'm down on Debo is because I'm thinking to myself, like, man, I can't be this lucky this many years in a row, just being able to have this like amazing player on my team. Mm -hmm. And so that's a little bit, I think maybe the reason that I gave him up is because how am I trying to say this? I guess I'm saying like, you can only have like one player can only do well for your team so many years in a row. Right. And then you have to let him move on. You have to let him go. If you <laughs> love something, let him go. But it's not a free. And so, so, so maybe he will do just fine on your team. Like maybe, maybe you'll be the switch that he needs. To get I back hope so. To where he, I hope he, he's I, got, he's he typically is. I know he's not going to a contender, but uh, you know we have a lot of heart here in a, in, in the program, and mm -hmm. um, I, I hope we can make him proud. Yeah, and I love Lamar Jackson. I think that's a great pick. Mm -hmm. I mean, round five, Lamar Jackson. That doesn't happen often. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I kind of if you see often. Lamar, you got to take Lamar. Yeah, Alvin Kamara. I I always put a question mark on him, and he always ends up doing just fine. So mm -hmm. I'm sure he'll be okay. I just, I just for the the unknown factor of it, I got it. and people draft so much better in the friend group league than the JFL. True, people um, do. <laughs> so that's because we don't have uh, no offense, Maddie and Marky, in um, or I guess not even Maddie. That that it should be more of a, sh a shot at Marky. Yeah, <laughs> Marky's the one that does most of the drafting usually. Yeah. And she's the one that's that's picking kickers in round two. <laughs> that that's it's insane behavior, man. And like, it, imagine if that happened in, uh, in the Osama Lake League. That would be talked about forever. Oh yeah, no one would. You wouldn't live that down. No, but the fact that I just mark him. Mark does it every year, so we just it's just like a, a normal thing now. Yeah, so true. I, I'm going to move on to number seven. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. That's all right. Wow, well, it's Ned. Um, I like I like Ned's team, but again, his running backs are just so questionable because like, again, Najee Harris will he be good? Will he not be good? Derrick Henry is he old? Can you does he still have it? I That's, I don't think Derrick Henry has it. I am a big Derrick Henry believer, so I think he does. But we're we're near the end of the Derrick Henry. We're just I just feel like we're so near the end. Yeah, and maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm just being a hater, but I'm just like he's got to fall off at some point. I hope he doesn't. I hope he's be, good forever. He can't just be yeah, he, but yeah, it's funny. Like anyway, and Ayuk might be taking your touches, Kelsey. I just feel the same way. I feel the same way about Kelsey as Derrick Henry. It's like he's got to fall off at some point. I don't know. You got when you got Patrick Mahomes showing you the ball and Lamar. I know. I know. I mean, Derrick Henry's more likely to fall off than Kelsey, but I agree. Kelsey's been too good for too long. It's getting annoying. He does have other good names in this team, though. I mean, he's got yeah. Amon Ra. He's got uh, DJ Moore. He's got CJ yeah. Stroud. Like he's got some good potential in there for yeah. sure. He's got three QBs though. Three and, QBs is also uh, a big deterrent. That's a rookie that, mistake. That that is that is a rookie. I mean, that's that's just your first year playing fantasy football. You know, I know when you're because when you're outside looking in, you're just like, I mean, quarterbacks score the most points, so why wouldn't I have them on my team? And exactly. then you realize that no one wants to trade for them, and so no <laughs> one's getting like you're just stuck. You're just stuck yeah. with three QBs on your team. Yeah. Uh, but that's much everything I got for Ned. Mm -hmm. Um. We'll move on to Aiden's team. Aiden's team is in the six. Auto draft Aiden, as we call him, <laughs> or as I recently came up with. Yeah, that's um, good. Again, I, I I said in my rankings, but I think Puka and Olave are a bit overrated. I would agree. Um, but it's a good team. He's got DK. I'm glad. Like we were saying during the draft, the draft because so Aiden, you know, got logged out of his account or something, and he couldn't draft. Oh, so we yeah. we were all very happy to see he got DK. Yeah, yeah big, that was big. That big was Seattle big. guy, and I, I, I feel like even though he doesn't, he, he didn't pick the players. I feel like there's a sense of pride with him that he still has a Seahawks player in his DK Metcalf. You know, it's like it might not be the team I wanted, but it's the team I got, and I'm proud to have him. Oh, man, it's got some names on it though. It does have names. It's this team's got potential. Oh man, it does. This team's got big potential. Patrick Mahomes, Bajan Robinson, Puka Olave, Metcalf, Kittle. Yeah, like those are just. And Those then Swift is good names. Swift is good too. The the Bears aren't the Bears O line is not very good. I said a little bit of that in my ranking, but Swift is still a good player. Oh, no doubt. 
So it's, he it, 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 again, his bench is where it falls off because he's yeah. got two quarterbacks he's got three on the bench. Three well, quarterbacks, he, three quarterbacks, three quarterbacks in total. Bench. Yeah, so I'll have to get rid of some of the players there. But no, I I, I think. It's not. It's not one. Of, I think it's a very Aiden team, even though it was auto drafted. Yeah, it is I think it'll. Team. As long as he keeps up with it, I think he'll be good. Brink playoff team. Mm, and then how many people make the playoffs this year? Was it? It was a five. Were you doing the five again, or was it four? I mean, it's not up to me. Well, okay. I don't know what it is this year, but I'm saying from the old standing when it was five people, mm-hmm. I think he's, that's he's he could be considered for a uh, spot he there. Would, I think he would be a fringe play in team right. game. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he'd be an automatic qualifier. That's that's that that's what I meant. He'd be fighting for a playoff spot instead of getting eliminated. Um, you know what a nice setting is this year that what's that, that I didn't have in years past. You've got the option for week to to change the weeks per playoff matchup in in the different rounds. You can make um your first round. A two week playoff. You can make your second round of two, oh. or you can make, or you can, you know, mix and match. That is Anyways, fun. I would have liked that um, functionality last year. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Uh, the, the the top five now. In fifth place, we got Mr. Roskowitz. I love Matt's team. It's just Caleb Williams being your starting quarterback is too much of a risk to put you any yeah. higher. He's got a good. Oh, yeah. He's got, he's got some gamers. He does have some gamers. I mean, Pacheco is really good. Montgomery's really good. Jefferson's Jefferson. Again, we don't know how he's going to be this year, but Jefferson's still Jefferson. Laporta, Mike Evans. I mean, these are names for sure. I mean, it's just Pullman on the bench. He's got Pittman on the bench. Yeah, he's got Pickens on the bench. Pickens. You just said that. Sorry. No, I said Pittman. Oh, you said Pittman? Okay. So, yeah, he's got Pickens on the bench. Starting running back, Ty J. Spears for the Titans. I mean, probably won't be very good, but starting running back, starting running back. Um, Chiefs kicker. He, I mean, right. He does have a good team. It's just literally the Caleb Williams thing. Like, I don't know if I can get behind. We'll see if he's as good as everyone says he is, but I just don't have enough. He doesn't have enough gumption for me right now to put him any higher than fifth. I think Caleb's probably got what it takes, though, to get 15 points per game. Was did you consider that good for a quarterback? I'd consider that like. I think 18 is. Where we get into the good t- territory. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd agree. But I mean, if he gets at least 15 points no, per game, the rest of the team could be good enough. No, you guys to carry. It could. It, it, and then, and that's why I'm having a fifth. If he had a better quarterback, you know, who Roscoe could be top three. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, I'm looking. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement. I, I like this team. This good looking um, team. Number four, I have you, Johnny. Thank you. Um, I don't know what it, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't think you've ever rated my team too highly. Actually, you rated my UM Batch Mets team pretty high, I think. I don't remember. Usually, I have you either. Usually, I, I usually pretty bottom of your. I'm a, I'm a big hater of your team, and you end up doing really well, which kind of pisses me off. But it's whatever. Anyway, no, I like your team. You got Saquon again. You got James Cook again. You love drafting those Bills running backs, man. I've been saying it from the beginning. Is James um, Cook was my boy last year. I had to take him again. You have Waddle again in this league too. I didn't even know that. Yep. Oh wow! So you you kind of double dipped a lot. I did double dip a lot. I mean, I think you have to to stay mm-hmm. sane. Like I've got, yeah, I've got a I get a handsome. And so so again, like going back. So I had I the option him? to take ATN again, mm-hmm. and this time around, I took Garrett Wilson because okay. again, like I was looking at my team in the Jennings family league. And I was just looking at them and the wide receivers weren't where I wanted them to be. And it, mm-hmm. it all came down to that, that second round pick. I took ATN in the second round and uh-huh. I also got James Cook in the third round. So I knew James Cook was going to be available to me in this third round. And so that's why I ended up taking this other wide receiver to kind of. Um, no, I like, I like Garrett Wilson. And the only you know, question with is why, why is Jaden Reed in the starting lineup? It's because I am, I'm having faith. I am the, so my, my strategy, my whole strategy, mm-hmm. I think I, I think I cooked this up. When did I cook this up? Well, ever, okay. I've, I've, I've liked to do this ever since I first saw Zach do it. 
when I know, and we can, we, I've, I feel like I've probably talked about this a million times over, but that Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins <laughs> was magical. And so ever <laughs> since I witnessed that, I've always, I've always been keen to try to follow up on that. And I really don't, I think I might've done it one other time, but the, the, the big one was last year when mm-hmm. I did Jalen Hurts and AJ Brown. Yeah. This year, I technically had the opportunity to do that again. I, I was I was in the right trap spots. I could have taken, you know, I, I think, right? Uh, let me look up where A.J. Brown went. If it's going to pop up. No player sound. Do you know who has A.J. Brown? I think it's Aaron. I think Aaron does, yeah. Because Aaron has Hurts and Brown this year, I think. I, so, oh. then no, I would not would not have been able to take AJ Brown. I think I drafted Yeah, Aaron Brown has Aaron has Hurts and Brown. Okay, never mind. So I would not have had the opportunity to do it this year. Um but but I just wanted to cook another quarterback wide receiver combo. Mm-hmm. Uh and this year though I took a chance. I took a big chance on that combo last year the combo was much more solid like yeah we we, we knew that hurts and aj brown you yeah know, that's a good combo this year i'm really risking it for the biscuit i went for the green bay offense All right, i took jordan love and jane and reed and so i am i'm staking my claim i'm gonna sit by those guys i'm gonna give them five weeks i respect it i respect it a lot man i'm gonna give them five weeks and if they can they can hold out then, then I'm gonna I'm gonna play them. Um, but but after five weeks, if they're not performing like I want to, then I'll probably start. I'll I'll, I'll break I'll break it up basically. I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna start playing J, uh, Jaden Daniels, but I'll probably Jaden Reed will probably be the first guy that I bench. Yeah, um, that makes sense. But I just have to, you know, my my whole draft strategy revolved around it. So I'm gonna let my starting lineup reflect that. No, I like your team a lot. Again, you have Jameson. Um, good bench, good good starting lineup. Again, the, the only question I have was Reed. Do you have anything else you want to say about your team? No. No? All right. All right. Um, so in the fourth slot, or in the three slot, we're going to the, the bronze medalists of my rankings. We have yeah. Mr. Aaron Kaplan, who, again, as we just Lost. talked about, has... Okay. <laughs> he does have... Um, the Hertz and Brown combo, which is which I love, and then and and you love them because you had them last yep. year. Mm-hmm. Um, got good running backs. Got Joe Mixon. Got Jonathan Taylor. Um, Trey McBride, I think, is going to be good again with Kyler, and then must start Mostert and Amari Cooper. Good, good, solid people. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, solid. I had Amari Cooper in my other league, so I really like that pick. And I agree. I think I think Aaron's got a and his bench is really I, good too. I'm a, I'm a big mix and hater. Like I really shouldn't be because he's he's just been good. Mm-hmm. But I'm just I just like I don't have any faith in mixing. I, I was never a big say, mixing guy either. I kind of get a little bit. I I don't I don't believe in Houston really though. Oh okay, interesting. I I think they they did well. I think they. I don't want to say got luck. Well. I guess that's the only word really appropriate for it, but I think they got lucky. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how this year. Adding, you know, they added a bunch of new pieces. Um, they did cut my boy Troy from the team, so yeah, I don't yeah. don't love that. But that's disrespectful. But I love Jonathan Taylor. I mean, I know he hasn't been like stellar the past couple of years, but he's been good. He's been good. Um, and then I, mean, I, I mean, it's it's going to be the Jalen, it's going to be the Hertz Brown show. Yeah, right? I mean that is like, that's that's, that's going to be star. the core of his team, and everyone else just needs to, they just need to do average. They don't need mm-hmm. to, they don't need to pop off because yeah. because that combo right there is gonna is gonna carry him a long way. Yeah. I also think it's it's not a, it's interesting that not only does he have the Hertz um, Brown combo, he's got the Hertz Brown Elliott yeah trifecta so yeah. anytime that they really they score, can't punch it in they're getting he points. gets a field goal he's getting and points anytime regardless. that they score yeah he gets a free point and i like that too i might try that eventually i we'll see how it goes for him this year but uh mm-hmm. the kicker wide receiver quarterback combo might be something to look forward to it might be yeah it might be something to look out and in rishi rice mm-hmm. on his bench 
Yeah, and it's Jigba. a cheeky little bench spot right there. I'm not a big in Jigba believer. I think I think he's I think he's fine. I just don't think he's like gonna put in a shift or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I think I think you're definitely just in in ranking Aaron at number three. And then yeah, we'll go ahead and move on to number two. Uh so Matthew and Connor are big boys. Well, it, I would throw Aaron in the big boy conversation too. Yeah, but I would throw Aaron in the big boy conversation. Matthew, Matthew didn't want me to do the ranking, so I put Matthew in the two. But Matthew's got a very good team. I mean, he's got Josh Allen, Jameer Gibbs, A Chain, Chase, Cup. I mean, that's an insane starting five. Um, I um, go ahead. I know me and Matthew have a rivalry, but I think I think his team's a little overhyped. Really? I think, I mean, I love Josh Allen. I owe my life to Josh Allen. He won me so many championships. But how could you possibly say that this guy is going to be, like, I don't know, QB1? He's got no one to pass to. He always finds a way. I guess so. I guess you're technically right. He found a way last year. I mean... Last year, he didn't really – his wide receivers weren't playing great, so – and he found a way. And uh, all right, maybe that was a dumb thing to say because they also just oh, play a pass-heavy pass yeah. offense. Like, he's going to he's gonna throw the ball a million times, and so he's going to rack up yards. But yeah, but I, I agree. Know, that I mean, it is... I know I took James Cook, and I know I'm a believer in that, but there's just something about this year, the fact that they've got no wide receiver one. He yeah. has me with heebie-jeebies. I'm like, what? Like, it just – it's weird. But he's also a big Russian quarterback. He'll get you yards on the ground. Yeah. So so what did uh, Mahomes do last year? Okay. I'm not crazy on just then. So so Mahomes, I mean, let's 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 compare, right? Mm-hmm. Mahomes last year, no wide receiver one. Yeah. He just had Travis Kelsey. Yeah. And, and he, Kadarius Tony. Mm, okay. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Good jokes. Jokes. Thanks. He had 280 points last year. Guess how many points Josh Allen had last year? 339? 392. 392? Whoa. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously Mahomes still won the, the Super Bowl, but that's just because that team is is unbelievable. Good. Yeah. I don't think – I think we've kind of been shown that the, the Bills just aren't the Chiefs. You know, mm-hmm. like they can be – the Bills can be as good as they want, but they're just not the Chiefs. Yeah. And so – and so I guess that's what gives me a little bit of heebie-jeebies is like Mahomes took a huge step back in terms of fantasy performance last year. Mm-hmm. I kind of think it's about time that Josh Allen is going to do the same. And and that's just, I don't know, that that could be totally misguided, but but that's why I got, I've just got a little heebie-jeebies about Allen. I think Samir Gibbs obviously is a great pick. Uh, A-chain. I don't know what to think about him. I mean, obviously he was a stud when he was playing. Um, but it's also just like, man, that that team has so many weapons. Mm-hmm. And but obviously he proved that he can do it. He obviously proved he can do it in, in year one. So so I should probably be more up on it. Jamar Chase, I, I mean, obviously he's he's a goat. He's good. Um, but he did have an up and down year last year. I don't know. Do you attribute that maybe to Burrow getting it? Yeah. Game? Burrow not being, yeah, I do. I think I think he'll be back to normal this year. And then Cup is older, but Cup is older. I, mean, I, I don't. Cup. I'm not a huge Cup fan. I, I I don't know. Like he did terrible last year. And Stafford wasn't Stafford healthy most of last year. I think so. So I know they're good buddies, but I I'm kind of a I'm kind of a disbeliever. And then I kind of am. A, I don't like Devonta Smith and his flex here. I think. I don't mind it. I like Devon. I'm yeah. a big Devonte Smith fan. I know he's not the guy, but I like him a lot. Like I like, I love him as an NFL player. I think he's a mm-hmm. fantastic NFL player, but as a fantasy option, I think he's just okay. And then I but don't know. I his mean, his bench is pretty solid. I like his bench a lot too. I yeah. I guess I've, I would say. I mean, this is obviously biased because it pushes me into the metal contention. But I'd I'd bump Matthew down to five, and I'd push everyone else back up. So I'd have mm-hmm. Aaron at two. I'd have me at three. I'd have Roscoe at four. He's not going to like that. Matthew's not going to like that when he hears us. Obviously not. But we're, you know, we've got history. All right. Uh, 
Well, let's just go ahead and move on to the last one. Mm-hmm. Um, this Connor. I like Connor's team a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, again, he's got some question marks again with like AR fifteen, Marvin Harrison Jr., Kyle Pitts. He took his eight flowers from me, so I'm also kind of pissed at Connor, but. No, I think Connor's got a really good team. A lot of studs. If Kyle, I think Kyle Pitts is going to be the difference maker again. If Kyle Pitts does somewhat good. He has Kirk Cousins. He's the best quarterback he'll ever have, or he's had thus far in his career. If Kyle Pitts can do damage, this team will be intense. I think you're a little misguided with this, with Connor at number one. I mean, I think you've probably convinced yourself that AR-15 is going to be a stud because you have to. I did. I do. He's leading your team in the other league. But I think there's something to be said about any team that has Christian McCaffrey has a chance to win the title. Yeah. I think uh, I think K-9's just fine. I mean, I, I think, you know, I think 170 is probably similar to what he's going to get this year in terms of total points. Um. I have to hate Maserati Marv. I just, I have to. I think it's just, I'm high on a lot of these people. The Lions defense, I love. AR-15, I love love Kenneth Walker. Well, it's like a a personal thing. Not not necessarily a fantasy thought, but no, the Lions defense would be fine. I'm not worried about them anymore. Uh, I I don't mind T. Higgins, I think. Yeah. but I think it's probably also a little foolish because we've said, I feel like we've been saying for like three years now, like, oh, yeah, this like, is going to be T. Higgins' year. This is going to be T. Higgins' <laughs> we year. Have. And it's never his year. Um, I think Zay Flowers is good. Uh, I mean, Kyle puts Pitts is again. It's just like T. Higgins, like, but, this is his year. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle puts this is his year. So I think, uh, I think I would, um, I don't, I don't think you're crazy wrong. I think, Honestly, I'd put Aaron at number one. I, I, I mean, yeah. that's maybe a little bit biased because I won the championship last year and he kind of rebuilt my. He didn't rebuild my roster, but he he took my core. Mm-hmm. You know, he took the championship core, and there's no reason to think that that core won't do well again. Right. But that means giving me number two, which I also think would be misguided. I don't think I've got the second best team in the league. I think I had a good draft. Um. But like, I the 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 glaring obviously you know, missing key is quarterback. Like Jordan Love could be good mm-hmm. or he could be not good. I don't think right. I, it's not like Josh or it's not, he's not going to be great. I don't think. Um, So. Yeah, so that's... I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe I, I would put Aaron at one. Me at two is tough. I'd almost even give, I like Matt C. Like I'd almost give Matt like number two, but obviously his quarterback is really screwed. Right. So so maybe maybe I'd put more respect on Aiden's name just because of his starting lineup. Um, I mean, I think you're probably I think you're right about Tristan's. I wouldn't I wouldn't rate Tristan's team last. Unfortunately for Luke, sorry, I would <laughs> rate his team last. You'd give but Luke even, last? I don't know. Wow. I really like his three of Kyron, Devonta, and Tyreek. Like that's a really good three. Mm-hmm. And Kincaid. And then yeah. Okay, so so maybe if I had to if I had to shuffle yours around, I'd put Aaron at one. Like I said, I'd probably drop Matthew behind myself and Matt. But then that that makes me number two, which I, I don't agree with, but I'm just gonna leave it there. So I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Aaron one, me two, Roscoe three, Matthew four, eight and five, Connor six. Well, actually your team. I wasn't I talking, I was just saying great things about your team. I'd put your team up higher than eight. I know it kind of fell apart there, but I'd I'd maybe bump eight, Ned back to to eight. I'd put Connor at seven. And and you at six, I suppose. Who's at nine? Aiden. Oh wait, what did I say? Oh, where do I have Tristan? Oh, okay. Yeah, Tristan so, last. So, yeah. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna bump Luke. So juice Luke's gonna hate that. I'm gonna bump Luke back to last. I'm gonna put Netta at nine. Connor at eight. You at seven. Aiden at six. Matthew at. Or yeah, does that. Am I doing no, you, that right? Where did I say somebody? Oh, okay, uh, sorry. 
Uh, you got Luke in the time. This is terrible podcasting. Um, so let's just forget about it. But I, I would reshuffle your. I, I would take your top two out. I don't necessarily think I deserve to slot in at two, but I'd put your top two and I'd put a more middle of the pack, five, six, four, five. Mm-hmm. I'd promote you. Um, I'd promote Tristan. Um, and so, so maybe I'll leave it there, but um, yeah, thank you. Uh, we'll just, we'll, I hope this is okay, but I'm just going to, I'm going to call it there. Cause we've been, we've been yeah. talking for a while now. This is good with me. I actually got a, a long, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to head out soon. Yeah, so sorry for, for taking up your time. I know. No I know worries dinner plans tonight so uh kind of the the fantasy part went on a little bit longer than i intended but but that always happens doesn't it yeah yeah um so thank you for your time zach thanks for coming on i'm glad glad you finally got back and yeah we can take next week off probably not we probably have to post this before week one right yeah maybe we do this one and then next week we post the other one we'll see we'll see we'll figure it out yeah well oh yeah that's a good shout do we do the fantasy one for this week and then or maybe we just post a post a two-part episode and then like a fantasy special so we'll post this one today that's good and then go a fantasy special on friday yeah okay cool Cool. thank you zach yeah hopefully we'll get on a a regular schedule if not weekly then at least bi-weekly we'll we'll figure it out Mm -hmm. we'll be good all right johnny but it it was good to be back yeah great to be back great seeing you man um have a great week and um I'll I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, we'll talk soon. Sounds good. Take care. See ya.